Open Your Eyes by John Martinez Message from Heaven, April 4, 2024 My wife and I were at 7 p.m. adoration. It was amazing and beautiful being in the presence of God in the Eucharist, peaceful and very holy. We always sense and feel the loving company of our Lord and Savior here. As I was praying, I felt the presence of God the Father and heard His gentle voice. As God the Father spoke, His words were loving, gentle, and strong. God the Father said, My son, I am very happy that you have completely committed yourself to me and the mission I have given you. What I said to you several decades ago is now taking place. You have struggled and suffered much, but your faithfulness to me is the greatest gift you have given me. I love you, and I thank you for saying yes to me and your task. It was difficult for you to understand what would take place in time. Now you know. With the guidance of the Holy Spirit and the Blessed Mother, you have been kept safe and protected from the claws of Satan. Your mission has always been to cry out to the world that I love them, and it is only through me that they will receive eternal life. On your way to one of your construction projects, I showed and allowed you to see the future and how you were to move to the Texas Hill Country and build a refuge. I don't have to remind you that people will come to this refuge from the north, the south, the west, and the east. I indicated that many refuge leaders of my choosing would come to see you and that if you look for them, you will not find them. Tell my children throughout the world to open your eyes, for my promise to Noah has begun. Many of my elected ones are leading my children to damnation. They know who they are, but the sin of pride has blinded them. The Blessed Virgin Mary has appeared to many of my chosen children, but mankind does not listen to her messages and calls to return to me. She has suffered much and is unceasingly praying for her children safely and conversion to my son. Satan has seduced many and convinced them to crush her messages of salvation. Images of the Blessed Mother and many other sacred images are being desecrated and distorted to cause believers to lose faith in me. My holy temples and consecrated churches are vandalized by followers of Satan. Many people spit and desecrate many holy objects like crucifixes and holy images. My son's passion and his death on the cross has torn his mother heart as people continue to be the same as in the time of Noah. My son gave all at the cross. He took upon himself the sin of all mankind. I must intervene and open the eyes of man. Enough is enough. This will start on a Friday and last for 30 days as a warning. Only I know the time. My mercy to mankind is coming to all my children. I am allowing my mercy to touch all mankind with the exception of small children and those that are sick and incapacitated. Before the start of the warning, I am allowing an affliction of mercy to come upon the world and separate the sheep from the goats. I am giving my children their free will to make a choice between me and evil. The affliction of mercy. This blessing of mercy will come upon all mankind. No one will be spared. Scientists, doctors, and false commentators will not find a cure for the affliction of mercy. The affliction will not be explained. It will be supernatural, and many will cry for mercy. There will be no cure to remove it. It is I, your almighty God, the Father, who will give mankind this additional chance to convert before the warning. This will start before the warning and will accelerate after 
the warning. Mankind will experience their own sins in the form of a disease that is incurable. Many of those committing the atrocities taking place in my world will suffer the most. Those that promote the murder of my unborn children, trafficking of children, those seeking power over others, and many other acts of evil. My mercy of affliction will start with a small rash, and the rash will expand into large boils. Many will have their skin decay, and their bodies will start to decay and rot as the smell of a dead animal carcass. The smell will be so horrible that people will hide and question why this is happening. Many will take their own lives in desperation. The air will become unbearable to breathe. Many will ask themselves, why me? This must take place so that my children can experience a moment of eternal death. I do this to keep them from spreading the evil of Lucifer and destroying my creation. Many will embrace external damnation in hell and curse me for this affliction. This will bring mankind to their knees, and they will seek answers, but will refuse to hear the truth. Their suffering will be unbearable. Mankind will receive a taste of eternal suffering and death. The Antichrist will rejoice in seeing my children suffer. Satan's followers will be the first to be infected. There will be chaos throughout the world. Many will panic and curse each other. Confusion and destruction will be rampant as hate and sin from hell will cover the earth. Man will not find a cure for my act of mercy. I am giving them a choice to make. This must take place to allow my children to make a choice between my son Jesus Christ and Lucifer. They must decide who to follow. I can no longer allow man to destroy each other as evil inflicts hatred, greed, power, and the destruction of my church. Is there a cure for this affliction? Yes, only I, your almighty God the Father, will heal those afflicted. The only cure is conversion of the heart through me. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, and will forgive their sin, and will heal their land. Second Chronicles 7.14 Those that change their sinful ways will be healed immediately. You must sincerely and honestly repent of all your sins and turn away from evil. Do not think that you can fool me, for I know your sincerity and your heart. Will some be spared the affliction of mercy? Yes, my holy and earthly saints that have kept my commandments, pray and always seek me. Those that have listened to the warnings and messages given by the Blessed Mother and changed their sinful ways will be spared. Those that have placed me in their hearts, as many of my saints on earth, must reach out to those that are lost in their identity of my love for them. I called all my children that hear my voice to become apostles and warriors for my word. Those that help my children in need, feed the poor, and live the Beatitudes will be spared. They will not be affected by this affliction. Religion, race, or creed do not matter. I seek and see only their hearts. All are my children. End of message. Commentary from John. My suggestion, go to a quiet place and listen to the guidance of the Holy Spirit and our Blessed Mother. Visit Jesus in adoration and pray, pray, pray. Confess all your sins before him, and he will forgive you and will welcome you into his kingdom of eternal glory. Again from John, my confirmation. 
To be honest, I was a little concerned and needed to be sure it was God the Father speaking to me. I was seeking confirmation, and God does not waste time. After receiving the message about the coming affliction and the terrible odor that will accompany it, my wife turned to me and asked if I smelled the ugly odor that was around me. It was an odor of decay. Immediately, I knew it was God the Father confirming to me that it was Him speaking to me about this coming plague. My wife confirmed that the message I received was authentic. May the blessings of Almighty God be upon all of us. John Martinez Message from St. Faustina, Diary of Divine Mercy, 1578 The graces of my mercy are drawn by means of one vessel only, and that is trust. The more a soul trusts, the more it will receive. The Chaplet of Our Lady's Tears, as revealed by our Lord and His Mother to Stigmatist Sister Amalia of Jesus Scourged in Brazil. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Crucified Jesus, we fall at your feet and offer you the tears of the one who, with deep compassionate love, accompanied you on your sorrowful way of the cross. Grant, O good Master, that we take to heart the lessons which the tears of your Most Holy Mother teach us, so that we may fulfill your holy will on earth that we may be worthy to praise and exalt you in heaven for all eternity. The First Mystery The Prophecy of Simeon Let us meditate upon the tears shed by our Most Holy Mother during Simeon's prophecy that a sword would pierce her heart. Let us reflect on the sorrow Our Lady had knowing the sufferings of Jesus in advance. O oh, Jesus, Look upon the tears of the one who loved you most on earth and loves you most ardently in heaven. O oh Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. O oh Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. O oh Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. O oh Jesus, Hear our prayers for the sake of your Most Holy Mother's tears. O oh, Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your Most Holy Mother's tears. O oh, Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your Most Holy Mother's tears. O oh, Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your Most Holy Mother's tears. The Second Mystery the flight into Egypt. Let us meditate upon the tears shed by our Most Holy Mother during the exile to Egypt, Herod's persecution, and Our Lady's sorrows for the death of the Holy Innocents. O oh, Jesus, look upon the tears of the one who loved you most on earth and loves you most ardently in heaven. O oh, Jesus, Hear our prayers for the sake of your Most Holy Mother's tears. O oh, Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your Most Holy Mother's tears. O oh, Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your Most Holy Mother's tears. O oh, Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your Most Holy Mother's tears. O oh, Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your Most Holy Mother's tears. 
O oh Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. O oh Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. The third mystery, Jesus is lost in the temple. Let us meditate upon the tears shed by our most holy mother during her search for Jesus. Let us consider the sorrows of Our Lady in her motherly heart. O oh Jesus, look upon the tears of the one who loved you most on earth and loves you most ardently in heaven. O oh Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. O oh Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. O oh Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. O oh Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. O oh Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. O oh Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. O oh Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. The fourth mystery, Mary meets Jesus on the Via Crucis. Let us meditate upon the tears shed by our most holy mother during the tortures of Jesus caused by the scourging, the crowning with thorns, the suffering for the wound on his shoulder, his falls and the painful stripping of his garments. O oh, Jesus, Look upon the tears of the one who loved you most on earth and loves you most ardently in heaven. O oh, Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. O oh, Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. O oh, Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. O oh, Jesus, hear our prayers. For the sake of your most holy mother's tears. O oh, Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. O oh, Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. O oh, Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. The fifth mystery, the crucifixion of Jesus, his agony and death. Let us meditate about this abyss of sufferings and the piercing of his sacred heart by the lance. O oh, Jesus, look upon the tears of the one who loved you most on earth and loves you most ardently in heaven. O oh, Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. O oh, Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. O oh, Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. O oh, Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. O oh, Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. O oh, Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. O oh, Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. The sixth mystery, the Pieta. Let us meditate upon Our Lady receiving the lifeless body of Jesus in her arms. Let us ponder the sentiments of Our Lady at that time. O oh, Jesus, look upon the tears of the one who loved you most on earth and loves you most ardently in heaven. O oh, Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. O oh, Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. O oh, Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. O oh, Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. O oh, Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. 
O Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. O Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. The seventh mystery. Jesus is taken to the tomb. Let us meditate upon the sufferings of Our Lady until the moment of the resurrection. O Jesus, look upon the tears of the one who loved you most on earth and loves you most ardently in heaven. O Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. O Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. O Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. O Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. O Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. O Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. O Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. O Jesus, look upon the tears of the one who loved you most on earth and loves you most ardently in heaven. O Jesus, look upon the tears of the one who loved you most on earth and loves you most ardently in heaven. O Jesus, look upon the tears of the one who loved you most on earth and loves you most ardently in heaven. O Mary, Mother of Love, Sorrow, and Mercy, we beg you to unite your prayers with ours so that Jesus, your Divine Son to whom we turn, may hear our petitions in the name of your maternal tears and may give us, in addition to the favors we ask, the crown of everlasting life. Amen. By your divine meekness, O Jesus bound, save the world from the error which threatens it. O Virgin most sorrowful, your tears have destroyed the infernal empire. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Welcome to Mother in Refuge of the End Times. We are thrilled to be releasing our latest prayer book titled The Most Holy Rosary, Prayers and Mystical Meditations of Saints and Seers. The Most Holy Rosary is one of the greatest prayers in the history of the Church, garnished as it is with the testimony of saints and popes for the last thousand years, the only prayers that could be said to be greater are those of the Mass and the Divine Office, yet many still seek ways to enter into the deeper mansions of spiritual richness to be found in this devotion. To assist with this process, Mother and Refuge of the End Times has compiled revelations and meditations from some of the most notable and popular Catholic mystics and saints. These mystics were gifted with first-hand revelations by means of visions and apparitions of the life of our Lord Jesus and His Holy Mother. We have selected some writings from these remarkable revelations to assist in the meditation of each of the 20 mysteries of the Holy Rosary. The main mystic meditations featured are St. Padre Pio, Blessed Anne Catherine Emmerich, Servant of God, Don Delindo Rotolo, Servant of God Luisa Picaretta, Maria Valtorta, and others. In addition, this unique Rosary prayer book contains both the Latin and English prayers of the Rosary. It has been originally illustrated by our own Catholic religious illustrator with over 23 inspiring illustrations that will surely lift your hearts in prayer and in fervor. This is a Rosary prayer book that will surely be a classic. As always, we thank you all for your continued support of our prayer book ministry and our channel. May God bless you and keep you, and may the Immaculate Heart of Mary be your refuge. Amen.